wind favors us, eh, Cyrus? Watch it, Greenhorn. <laughs> Watch it, Greenhorn. Just wait. <clears throat> Just wait. You're next. <laughs> yeah! How's it going, everybody? This is Daniel. Or, uh, Danny, as some people call me. The creative director of, of Baka Birds Entertainment. So I t today I'm trying to do a kind of video about about Ho Hookbeard, and so Hookbeard basically is our our new champion that we're working on. I'm I'm currently modeling him, and we we got his uh, his voice lines going by uh, Gary Scales, and uh, he just did a wonderful job. And we're gonna get it uh, the sound effects done uh, by one of our uh, sound effects guys, either <clears throat> either Clay or Sean. So. Anyway, I, I wanted to do a, a small tutorial on just kind of like how I went about this process of uh, you doing like his his voice lines or getting his voice lines going. Um, so like from a, a business perspective or from a perspective of just kind of like w what's the first steps and everything, because it can be kind of ambiguous what you should have audio for and or, or like um, what kind of scripts you're going to have and everything. <clears throat> So for our game, uh, Chaos Cart, we're kind of doing it to where uh, all the champions will have the same scenarios. Like, for instance, a uh, champion gets first place, and then they, they have a voice line because they won first place. Or if a champion gets, gets passed up, or say if they're in last place, um, they get knocked off the world. Just different scenarios like that. And so I think the, the main thing is just your pre-planning phase before you even talk to any voice actors or voice actresses, right? And so that's kind of what we're doing, uh, what we did and everything for, for Hookbeard as our uh, prototype. Kind of like, okay, well, how are we going to run this? Uh, and I think that it was pretty successful, so we're going to start probably doing it from now on whenever we hire uh, more, more voice work. Um, and uh, we, we can get into kind of like how you find voice work uh, in, a, in a second. But anyway, this is this is Hookbeard, our uh, our tanky kind of pirate character. This is just kind of his model. It's still a work in progress. But I, I felt like I wanted to make this video um, just as, as a shout out to Gary, but also <clears throat> kind of to uh, get out how we how we did this because we just got his voice lines in and just just fantastic work. Anyway. So to bring this character to life, I had to come up with uh, scripts for okay, what's he gonna say in different scenarios, and so I had to come up with a, a kind of a base lore for for Hookbeard. So his his ship is named Siren, um, or yeah, the uh, the Kedging Siren, and Kedging is kind of like uh, when you when you throw an anchor and then your ship goes in that direction. So I felt like it, he's gonna be hooking other ships or other carts, and so he kind of kedges at that direction. And then Siren, Siren's kind of like the in mythology is a luring creature. So like he lures them, he pulls them in. I thought like that made sense. Um, anyway, so the catching Siren and kind of tosses his anchor, and he's kind of like this like veteran pirate character. <clears throat> and anyway, so to kind of prove out the concept of Hookbeard, I created a sort of one sheet. It's not a full one sheet. It's more of like uh, scenario based one sheet thing so right here I made it in the uh, in our game document that I just started up so this is the, the hook beards like one sheet and so I kind of have like the um, his abilities like what is he going to do in the game like his attacks and abilities um, so he's basic attack um, passive uh, catching hoist is his, his like a cue or his first ability or he hooks on two other cards and pulls them in Serpent Scrog. Um, I'm actually going to take off the uh, the vision blurring, just because it's not it's not very user friendly. But yeah, basically he gets he'll, he'll get tanky when he drinks Grog. Uh, grog being like an alcoholic water that pirates used to drink in order to purify the water over time, while they're on long voyages. And then uh, cannon fodder, which is where his like side cannons would raise up and shoot in the air. However, that's kind of also um, not really sure if we're going to pull where we're going to keep that one. But I have some ideas for his ultimate if we don't go to that. <clears throat> anyway, so this is pretty important to know what he'll say just as a, as a base for the character. 
And so from now on, we'll make these kind of one sheets for each character, and and kind of just go go from there you know, before we start creating the voice lines. Because if you start creating the voice lines too early and don't have that lore form, it won't really feel like an in depth character. It'll it'll feel kind of flat or like generic character. Anyway, yeah. So I had these bullet points on the left were tank crowd control, heavier set, strong black champion who is a who's a captain, the catching siren. Big happy personality. So like how like how is he going to act in uh, in this? How how do we expect the act, voice actor to act? Is going to be kind of like happy and like you know boisterous and and like just like laughy and everything. So um, that's kind of how we wanted his his personality to to come off, even though he's a more of a like he's a kind of confident war veteran. He's like confident, right? <clears throat> so yeah, uh, drinks the cursed serpent's grog. Again, probably going to take off the affecting the driving situation. It'll be kind of just like a, a defensive buff, a temporary defensive buff, but also uh, makes it to where when he when he hits, that his hits will knock away further. It won't do more damage. It'll just do more knock away. So he's trying to like hit pe- hit uh, other characters off of their or off the track, All right? And then so if you you can knock him off off into the track completely, or you can knock him off of like a, into like the grass where you're going to get slowed, uh, similar to Mario Kart. Yeah, kind of like he owns the sea, so I gave like a few examples of like what I was gonna want him to say. I vow to Krakens, you green horns can drown in my wake. That's kind of like a like like laugh afterwards and like that. Like just kind of how he might say something. So you just have a few a few different traits and everything. Laughs hardly often. Here we go. It belittles other characters like that won't even leave a scar. You know, like if oh that was a that was a small hit, whatever. Anyway, so I gave this one sheet to the guy I decided to to voice uh, Hookbeard, uh, which is Gary Scales. Which also made I made sure that on LinkedIn when I posted my recent my recent <clears throat> modeling video for Hookbeard that I uh, I mentioned Gary Scales voice actor in my in the in the post. I think it's really important to shout out your developers to just kind of like it's a it's a more it's a Kind of like a enhancement thing, like like just get their get their voice out there, get their get their name out there, right? Like, like you want to sh- give them some love, right? So anyway, the over so that that was the um, Google Google Docs, right? And so we we're kind of making our our game document on Google Docs, which my team can my team can view and see and edit, and then going into Google Sheets. See, my team is also like three people are currently on here, and we're fleshing out the different characters and voice lines. So, to kind of, so I kind of fleshed out the different. So these on the, on the far left side, you have the event or scenarios, right? So, like, what what is it that's happening to proc this voice line, right? And to keep things more interesting, I decided to have multiple different multiple different things for each voice line, right? So, like, you have drown in my wake or wind on my sails, right? So this will always be, these will be the things that he says for he takes first place. And if you didn't have this, he would just say the same thing the, every single time he wins, and that could be kind of old. A lot of games do that, but, like, I think that with the release of PS5 and Unreal, Unreal 5, like, there's just a lot more... There's a lot more that you can do, I think, as a game developer uh, in the coming future that you didn't be able to use to before because of space and memory and just overall. Anyway, so I'm basically not intimidated to like add more and more. Um, so yeah, I gave Gary this, and um, what you can do is that you can actually make it in in Word and kind of like it, you can also share it with them if they if they if they want to share to the Google Sheets, or what I kind of did was I just like copy pasted it on a Word document and sent that Word document to him to kind of be a little more clean. But this this helped me. He actually said that like having the event or the scenario next to what he was going to say really could help with uh, the intention of the line, right? So like if I take first place, but say like if I just had the drown on my wake, for instance, this first line, if he didn't know what was happening uh, during that, then he could just say like, 
drown in my wake and he'd be all angry um, or something like that. But like in all reality, if he's first place, he, a character would probably be happy to be first place. So like drown in my wake, like you fool, you, you know, that kind of thing. And so it's, it's kind of important to know the intention behind behind the, the lines. And so like we have all these lines. Anyway, yeah, and so and also make sure you <laughs> make sure you pay out your talent. Uh, we paid out through PayPal, and I, I think that um, PayPal does have the unfortunate thing of, of like having the extra fees. So if you don't do the friends and family, which I suggest, then make sure that you send them a little extra for the um, for their fees because they'll have, they'll end up having to pay for the fees, and that's just not not how you would want to do things typically. If you if you promise like a say like a hundred dollars or a couple two hundred dollars, and and then you pay them that much, but then they take they get docked like eight dollars of that. It's kind of like oh, I just lost an hour of effort due to fees. So just make sure you kind of think about that before you uh, you send out that that money and calculate what the fee is going to be. Um, and I think that's about it. So I'm going to end this video with just a small clip of of Gary Scales and the uh, in the booth in his booth recording some of Hookbeer's lines. Thanks for watching, everybody. Daniel L. Drown in my wake. Drown in my wake. Wind on my sails. Wind on my sails. Siren, we've done it again. Siren, we've done it again. <laughs> Expert navigating skills. Expert navigating skills. Something must be stuck in the rudder. <sighs> Something must be stuck in the rudder. May need to drop some weight overboard. <sighs> May need to drop some weight overboard. This compass must be broken. <sighs> this compass must be broken. Got sand in my eyes. <sighs> Got sand in my eyes. Just letting them scout ahead. Ah, well, just letting them scout ahead. <laughs> Later, Gator! Hello, everyone. If you like this video discussing audio and pre-planning with voice acting for games, please consider liking this video and subscribing to our YouTube channel. Also, if you'd like to support us, please consider checking out our Patreon link on the pinned comment. Wouldn't that be cool, Gary? Yeah! Happy developing, bros.